What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Uh, so I got good news and I got bad news, right? The bad news is that when we were going through and we were doing all this and we were soul fusing, um, I did in fact lose the one that I had just built up. I lost it. It's not coming back. It's gone forever. Uh, quitting did nothing for us. It's just, it's gone. All gone. It's kind of a uh, set. Um, but, but... Uh, the good news is that I am doing a poison build, and for what I'm doing, I think this is a better loadout. So, you know, not the end of the world. It would have been fun to mess around with them for a fire build, but you know what? If we're, if we're being honest, um, you know, chances are I'm not going to, to keep anything that I have right now. I mean, looking at these levels, they've been progressively going up. I'm assuming by end game, everything will be like a level 200 soul core. So, you know, I'm not going to fret over it. Um, still sucks that I lost it, but whatever. Let's be on our way. Greedy Hunter. Hopefully this is a quick one so we can jump into the, the next region. These missions have been... They've been lengthy. Like, honestly, I'm I'm pretty impressed with uh, how long some of these missions have been. I'm kind of stuck thinking about how I want to approach the walkthrough just because I don't want 45-minute episodes. And on one hand, I know a walkthrough is... Uh, oh, man, one more and we hit that cap. Soft cap. Well, not even a soft cap. Um, capacity cap. Um, walkthrough is always faster. I will say that. Just based on all the all the times I've done. What the fuck is this? Yeah, they're fighting each other? Yo, he got juked! Swordsman goes for an attack. Enki taking another big hit. 552. Oh, Enki with a double slash big damage over a thousand. And he's going to go for the move. Can the swordsman dodge? No, he cannot. And he gets hit. God damn, this Enki hurts. I got to give that guy, you know, credit where credit's due. Fire, fire. Might be able to beat bandits, but you can't beat me, bitch. We're gonna pull out Zangado. I, th I think we had Zangado earlier. I like how I'm finding like the same two or three people. I mean, it makes sense. This is early access, but there's like two or three people that I'm like, yeah, this dude, he should come along. Seem like someone I can trust in. Sit the fuck down. Feeling good. Just got uh, just got back from the gym after the gym at leg day. Leg day really you know gets that testosterone flowing. Oh my god, you hurt! And then right after that, my new thing has been after after the gym, I uh, I'll typically soak in the hot tub a little bit. You know, just let the muscles recover. Which I gotta say, it's it almost feels like cheating. I have been seeing. I'm not going to talk about this too much, but I have been seeing absurd fucking gains from all the, the workouts I've been doing. I mean, given I completely, you know, um, I got a personal trainer, so that's obviously right there, you know, having a personal trainer makes a, a huge impact. Uh, but so, personal trainer, and then um, also changed my diet completely, and on top of changing the diet, I also typically will sit in the hot tub for like a solid 20 minutes after a workout so like i mean aside from having like a personal masseuse that shows up and massages me after every single workout you know there's not really much else i can do to help facilitate my muscles and my recovery i am you know I, i'm feeling great and i'm taking all the right steps um, so anyway we did like day like day is good it always really I always hear, like, because now I, I have not worked out for a long time. And then recently got the trainer, started getting in shape. And, uh, and you always hear people talking like, oh, man, I got leg day. I hate leg day. Like, dude, I don't, I don't understand what all the dislike of leg day is. I love leg day. Leg day feels like you're throwing up big weight. I mean, you should be. You should be throwing up way more with your legs than you are with your, your upper body or anything else. Your legs are the, the biggest muscles in your body. But, you know, just in, as a rule of thumb, I love leg day. Leg day, leg day, it feels like it gets everything going. Like, after leg day, I feel like I, I'm burning weight. I feel like I'm getting a good sweat. I feel like this place is confusing as hell. I'll be doing, uh... I need to leave, like... Uh, 
breadcrumb trail to help. Now hang on. It's, it's just bothering me. Let me go back real fast. Because there was an alternate path that I didn't take at the start, and I figured that would have led me down. And I'm wondering how that connects through now. It might just be a dead end, but I need to know. I need to, to see a dead end. No, it does not dead end. Is this like a human route and a yokai route? Like, what the hell? Oh, you come down here, I'll beat your ass. What's up, buddy? Damn. Kunai are doing work. Come here, Jack. It's the real cat, not the yokai cat. It's been extra needy lately, because I've been recording a bunch of Neo. Man, Tangle Strike's such a good ability. Oh, I'm a Mori. I don't know if it's going to beat this, but... Uh, for an Omeo build, that'd be nice. Elemental damage and Omeo power. And I'm a charge, backstab. That's my old pipe. So I guess this was all that was over here. You come all the way over here, and you just get that one little thing. But that's good, you know? Now I've uh, closed the loop. I know what's over here. I'm feeling good. Still, I'm not sure what I want to do for the walkthrough prep. Because the, the walkthrough prep, I mean, by the time you guys see this video, the stream will have obviously already happened. This is episode 12, and walkthrough prep airs the same day as the first three episodes. But that's why I'm hauling ass through all this. You know, I gotta, I need to record my Let's Plays at a vigorous enough pace as to not get ahead of myself preparing for the walkthrough. I'm not sure. I mean, one of my... Probably the build I put the most time in in the original Neo was like a heavy armor dual blade build. Just a really, really solid build. Uh, quite potent, I'd say. Ow, bro! Listen, I can do this too. Damn, so I like rifles. Just pop that dude off. Um... That deal damage to poison enemy thing is good. Really good. All right, so this is, yeah, I remember seeing that, the darkness. Let's clear this dark realm real fast. Um, ooh, ooh. Oh shit, I think I poisoned him with one. Oh shit, so I could have come all the way over here, knocked down that shortcut, and then explored that and gone back to the shrine. I mean, that's obviously a shortcut in the event that you die. Oh shit. Man, these... with a ninja. Yep. Uh. Need to do more mid-stancing. I don't know how I missed that thing. So I ran past that bridge. I fought the one guy here. That, that thing just popped on up. Okay, there's a lot of shit here. Let's see who we bringing along. Merc. Oh shit, clans! He's in a clan! I have not joined clans yet. Ooh, I like you, Tomfa man. Fuck up that... Fuck up that monster's key, whatever we're fighting. It's a lot of stuff. Um, the Sohoya. Okay. 
You know, I picked up Reaper early on and then I haven't really touched it at all. Well, um, yeah, we're good. I think that this is just a case of I didn't have my, I didn't have my stuff out of my way. This guy's still, still chasing me. Um, the only one I see. Last of my Ochako cups. Poison is good now. to say i was like uh if he's not the last thing things are about to go south really fast ah oh, 
man, I'm really impressed with how potent uh, poison shurikens and fire shurikens are now. They were really kind of doo doo in the previous game. Like, you almost never used them. And now they're like, they are doing work. It's good. Seven scalp switch glaive. That looks cool. Toki Gaki Enki. So I wonder, I want to see something. I mean, the blacksmith doesn't make sense for this. Um. Snake. Um, I think we're we're good. We're good. The whole first region is done. And it is time for us to actually get started with soaring. Uh hidden monsters of Oki Hazama. What are we at? 16 minutes in. Let's at least start it. We'll get through all the cutscenes and shit. Uh, what a surprise. I wasn't expecting them to take in a bunch of outsiders just like that without any real clue about our background. I guess they must have been impressed. Good old Chiro. That aside, things are getting busy around here. It sounds like the enemies are maneuvering considerable force, but I imagine it's not going to stop you. You have no interest in crossing swords. Now I'll leave that to you. So, human focus mission. Guy seems like a badass. Oda Nitsuite so so big Tegara or Tateru Ikaida. All right, so level up. And boom. So from here, we're getting we're still getting a healthy amount of ninjutsu power. Um, but we don't get any more capacity. So I think I'm going to I'm gonna work skill on up so that hatchets are kind of caught up to uh what else do hatchets benefit from? Hatchets actually benefit a lot from courage. Skill helps my kusara. Oh wait, strength I get too. Hang on, what are my scalings here? I think about this it might be separate because it's a now I'm D on that so yeah I should just focus skill which actually have I found found better barbarian hatchets that's for sure um melee attack key consumption strong attack key damage let's go you kind of cool Kodama sensor um uh, more defense, but I'm losing shuriken and kunai damage. I'm a bowl. 20% enhancement on the blessings. That could be useful. It's more Amrita. Jitsu power, five. Uh, uh, I'll lose my Kodama sensor. Not doing it. How about you? Fuma ninja robe. 
Strength 7. I could get beefier. That would probably help. Your recovery, projectile damage, ninjutsu power. Touch ninjutsu I already have. Should have soul matched a lot of this stuff, to be honest. Like these. These are level 17. No, that's right. I did find a new pair of these, so these aren't bad, actually. 7 strength. Oh, uh, we'll keep what we have, I think. But I'm seeing a lot of things that are good for seven strengths. So let's put the point in there. And then, nope, oh, a little bit too fast. We also want to ready some jutsu. Um, you're at 10. You're at five, you're at six. Um, couple enemies poison can get them in one so let's do five there no let's take off tiger running and take that so six six ten and then uh yeah and sneak thief i'll take that over tiger running all right this is a dope setup then so i got poison i got my poison i got my uh Oh, hey, bro. What's up? It would be right by the Imagawa clan's forces. Attempting would be suicide. Place is crawling with yokai. Maybe. I'm wondering if, like, if I gesture if he moves or something. That's cool. Okay, so I could go that way. Or... Oh, no. Never. Okay. I have to go that way. That's the only direction. Okay. All right. Well, I want to save this mission to be its own episode, so we are going to wrap up here. Um, this will probably end up being a two-parter anyway, just because main missions tend to be longer. But either way, stay tuned, and I'll have more Neo coming your way soon enough.